Today we're gonna make a coax cable. Coaxial cable, this is what we use. Ugh. This is what we use for sending the RF from the transmitter up to an antenna. And this is just one type. This is gonna be LDF4-50. So it's a three quarter inch uh, foam dielectric cable. So yeah, let's go from there. So the first thing though is I need to get my kit. And this is my kit. It's a little dirty, I know. But in here, I have a hacksaw, I have a file, I've got the cable prep tool. That sounds like it's broken, but it's not. I have a wire toothbrush. No, it's a wire brush, uh, and you'll see what we use this for here shortly. And then I have a couple of other uh, connectors in here. Uh, in boxes, so. Okay, so the first thing we need to do. So let, let, let's get started. Let's not prolong this process. Let's throw some of these items back. Oh, and one last thing. I have a razor blade. Come on. We need a little razor blade. Do hickeys. I'm having a hard time with stuff today. Or <laughs> a razor blade. I'm gonna go with doohickey because things just aren't working. Uh, and you'll see what we use that here for in just a moment. So, I am going to move my cable over here. And so, today I'm just gonna make a small jumper. And, so I've got my hacksaw here. And let's just say this is where we're gonna make the cut. We're gonna make a short little jumper about yay big. So, I'm gonna do this over my table here so that way I can contain all the debris. All right, part one down. I have my cable. Uh, now, what is in a coaxial cable? So like I said, there's different parts of it. You have this black part that's the outside. This is the jacket. And this just protects the, the cable from air, from moisture, from nicks and scratches and things like that. And then inside of that, if you think of kind of like an, an onion, you have different layers and things like that. So you have your jacket on the outside. The next piece in is your shield. And I'll show you that here in a moment, but it's a copper corrugated, for this type of cable, it's a copper corrugated tube, if you will, that goes the entire length of the cable. Inside that is your foam dielectric, and that is to separate your center conductor from the shield. And in the middle is the uh, center conductor. And it's called that because it's in the center and it's a conductor of electricity. Pretty simple. Okay, move some things here out of the way. Stay. Oh, and the other thing we're gonna need is a couple of crescent wrenches. All right, I have my cable here. I'm gonna kinda straighten it out nice and gently here to make it a little bit easier to work with. Don't need that. So let's get my connector here out of the box. And these come in little packages. And it has everything that the connector needs. So you have the two parts of the connector and you have some O-rings here. Um, there's another piece that I apparently borrowed out of this box. And this is a little guide, so. I'll show you that here in just a moment. The other thing is, 
is that each of these comes with instructions. So the instructions are going to help you out. They're gonna guide you and they're gonna give you a few different options. So option number one is if you have this fancy little tool, which is a joke. I have never had success with this cable preparation tool, ever. Yeah. It's supposed to basically, you know, you, you hacksaw this off, you know, you cut it and you put on a drill and it's supposed to basically prep the cable all the way. But every time I've done it, it's just mangled it. So I do a little bit more labor intensive, but I have a little bit more control. Okay, so step one, we cut it. Um, we need to do one and nine sixteenths removing removal of the jacket. So on the back of this, you'll see that there is a little measure measurement. So one and nine sixteenths, and this is where this guy comes in handy. I'm just gonna make a mark here on the jacket so that way I know where it is. So we're gonna remove the jacket from this cable. I don't wanna cut too deeply because I don't wanna damage the shield. Make a little disclaimer here. I don't do this often enough so you know, I probably do it a lot slower than some of you who are more seasoned at this. I, again, I don't do this very often. All right, so here is that plastic jacket. And then this is just the copper corrugated tube, basically. And this is your shield. So I will start calling it shield. Okay, now this is where it gets exciting and fun. Because now I get to use the cable prep tool or this manual cable prep tool. Now it opens up, clams over it like that. Um, and then it tells you which way to rotate. There's also instructions here on which is the end of the cable. So in here it has little arrows that says cable end and it points this way. So here's my cable end. And then it just kind of like, just fits in there. It's not closed all the way, but it says gently rotate this 12 times. So there's one, two, 12. Okay, so let's see what this did. So we can see that this scored our jacket back here. This will be important in a, in a moment but it also cut our shield right here, right on the high points of one of the corrugations. And that's gonna be where we, when we put on the connector, you'll see that that's where it stops it. So now I just try to wiggle this guy off. Come on rotating, I can feel it rotating, but it's just a matter of, come on. So I think it's still hung up on the foam dielectric. Because the foam dielectric is kind of still stuck on the center conductor. There we go. All right, cool. So as you can maybe kind of see here, it's just the foam and now it's missing the center conductor. And then there is the center conductor. So it's important, you have two little rings here. You have the rubber O-ring and you have the spring O-ring. You want the rubber O-ring to go on here. And that goes on the sixth 
corrugation. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that goes back there. And you get your barrel. And that pops on there like that. And you take your spring O-ring, put it on that last piece right there. Now, we have, let's flip over my instructions here. You have your little guide. And it's got these little holes in there and it fits right over where the uh, center conductor is. Now that is there to tell you how short you need to cut it. So you put your guide on there and you get your hacksaw. All right. Thank you guide, you have served us well. So we have this center conductor that's all gnarly. Well, that's where this file comes in. And all we're gonna do is just kind of gently round off the edge, the tip there. We don't want it to be sharp and mean. And on the instructions, they tell you how much that you should be rounding it off. All right. So the one thing we need to do is we need to make sure that this is deburred. So on your shield, might have some burrs on it. So we need to make sure those burrs are off. And then while we're in here, we need to separate the foam dielectric from the center conductor just a smidge. So when we look on uh, the back side of here, you'll see that there is a little ring that goes around. So we need to make sure that that's separated just a smidge. Now we get our brush. We're gonna brush off, make sure there's no metal filings sitting in there because metal filings are bad. What will happen if you have metal filings is that the metal filings will create a path to short. So you don't want electrical contact between your shield and your center conductor. That's called a short. Bad, bad things happen. So with the wire brush, I am brushing those off. Okay. Now it is time. Come over here and you'll see there's a little collar, if you will, that goes around the center conductor. Gently put the center conductor in there. Okay, pops in there. And we'll move the back part up here. Now, when we tighten this down, this piece is not supposed to move. This piece does move. So it screws on there until it catches a little bit. And then I'm going to get my crescent wrenches here to hold this guy. Now, I'm going to tighten that up. Alrighty. And that provides us with one end of the cable. Now go and repeat and do the other end. But uh, there you go. Now you've got a cable. And it's always good if you have the ability to test your cables before use. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. And until next time, until the next tutorial or whatever it is that I do, uh, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. See you then.